Hi Pisces and welcome to your October 2022 general tarot forecast. This is Sky coming on to talk to you about the month of October 2022. Um, buckle up Pisces, we have a really crazy month coming through for you. We have a lot of uh, really new and crazy experiences uh, really shaping up in the ether. I'm excited to tell you about them and uh, deliver you some intuitive messages, followed by a week-to-week -week tarot forecast and an extended reading on Patreon. It will be a bit briefer this month, Pisces, as I have a few things that have come up, which I do have to turn my attention to. Um, but yes, nonetheless, uh, here we are. Let's uh, talk about your month ahead. Okay, October for the month of Pisces. Uh, there are things that you've never had to experience coming in now. Okay, first times. Um, first time experiences. That's the energy of life, right? Also the energy of death. So the death archetype is coming up. That card is not in your reading, but I feel it strongly. I mean, you have the sun uh, coming up in the strength card, which is kind of like the uh, reaction that a lot of people move into uh, with the energy of uh, death. And, and I feel that it's just going to be so poignant. So you have maybe um, a way of life that's ending for you here, or you have a a uh, promise of a new future, a hope of a new horizon, the hope of uh, a new world coming in too. So uh, let's talk a little bit about this, Pisces. Let's talk a little bit about uh, finding hope in endings and um, the way that certain endings can uh, bring about a powerful transformation. So um, I think that a lot of us get really attached to uh, the sadness within endings or the... Um, way that endings really catch us off guard because uh, something that I've always noticed as I've uh, journeyed so much with the tarot is uh, the death archetype and the any of the archetypes that deal with endings and um, and the loss of a certain cycle or loss of a certain series of events uh, these things always come at the worst of times and they are never like expected or if they are expected it's um, somehow always uh, not really good for us, right? That feeling of loss. Um, so there's something for you, uh, Pisces, as you are also the uh, natal 12th house, the natural ending within the zodiac, uh, that is starting to develop a new relationship with endings. And through the like maybe uh, bad timing or the way that things are so difficult with certain endings, you're uh, growing in a way that you couldn't have without the ending. So it's almost like endings become a certain um, uh, super... Uh, power for you or you are uh, getting the signs that you need or getting the uh, clarity that you need through these endings that you might be facing here. So um, as you face the end of a relationship, for example, you have every sign that you need about maybe a career difficulty that you've had or you have a wake-up call perhaps about certain choices you're making or certain commitments you're making as uh, the theme of commitments and the uh, archetype of endings are really coming up in tandem right now. So um, it's just a really also nice time with the sun, the strength card, the queen of swords to kind of reassess uh, your level of preparedness for endings or to reassess like, you know, am I prepared uh, in my life to face unexpected events? You know, do I have savings? Do I have uh, stability? Do I have things in my life that allow me to face the unexpected in a strong way? That is a new type of sexiness here, Pisces, is the ability to be stable enough to face endings with grace. It's such a rare ability that people have, but I do feel that the sign of Pisces is being called to uh, foster this now. Um, okay, let's talk about your week to week. In the first week of October, the Queen of Swords, rooted down by the Four of Cups, it's a time of reflection for you in the first week of October. It's very supported for you to be taking a neutral level of reminiscence, a neutral level of recollection. So you are maybe archiving something here. You are reflecting on the way that things were. You are becoming a bit of a historian and maybe making judgments about the way that you move forward based on what happened before. So there's a way that the past and the present is coming together for you in the first week. That's really uh, the only way I think that you can make some of these decisions about the future that feel so uh, big for you right now. Um, also, neutrality is important. Objectivity is important. So the nature in which certain aspects of your life move from subjective lens to objective lens is uh, going to also need to be really important. Um, so you want to look at things from a clearer space, not from a biased space, uh, in order to um, understand 
the way that the world works and the way that you can uh, make important decisions in con- in the context of uh, the world. So um, important time for journaling, reflection, history, and uh, record keeping for you uh, receipts in the first week of October. Week number two, beautiful, the sun rooted down by the page of wands. So you are glowing, you are um, getting stronger through the promise that endings bring. So when there is an ending, there's going to be um, a rising uh, after that, okay? There's going to be an enlightening, there's going to be um, a victory that comes through an ending. And um, it's going to be really strong for you. I feel a lot of you reasserting your artistic prowess here. Uh, so it's possible for those of you who are like musicians or um, artists that you could have muse come in during that time. Or you could have, um, regardless of whether you're an artist or not, some type of really um, intrepid feeling of motivation that comes through. Um, and that's going to be really beautiful. I think the second week of October uh, 2022 is going to be a legendary time of artistic growth, motivation growth, intentional growth, and energy growth for you. Now you're motivated to do something. Now you're wanting to take it on. Now you're wanting to grow. Um, such a beautiful time to be a muse or to be mused by another person or to be um, around something that is a muse for you. What inspires you? What motivates you? Try to keep those things closer in the second week. Week number three, the Queen of Wands, rooted down by the King of Cups, reversed. And you are dealing with other people in the third week of October. So um, you have uh, relationships to build or you have um, strength coming through your contacts. So building a new uh, network, uh, networking with people, growing your relationships, uh, creative contacts. And then also um, you, you could also have like a previous network kind of falling out of favor. So a previous network that was highly connected maybe to uh, drinking culture, uh, King of Cups reversed right, can very simply be interpreted as like alcoholism or drinking. Um, so we want to think about that. But it can also be like loss of emotional control or lack of emotional maturity. Um, so that could also be coming up for you. Um, you might be dealing with emotionally insecure, uh, even alcoholic people. Or if you're struggling with that yourself, that's coming up to be uh, really focused on. So some of you could be um, entering a program or some, uh, I, that can even be like a rehab or programs for people as well. So you could have a loved one maybe going through something like that, uh, or um, it, it could just be coming up in, in different ways. But um, think about that, like what needs to be rehabilitated, even if it's not in such a like obvious way, like there could be even like a joint in your body, or there could be a muscle group or something that needs to be rehabilitated um, as well. So uh, try to get anything that you need seen by like a doctor or anything that you need um, to be checked out, uh, dental exams, uh, physical exams, whatever it is, is good in the uh, third week uh, to get the views of other people. Week number four, the five of wands rooted down by the strength card. Um, competition, uh, being strong enough to um, compete. The five of wands is about uh, competition. It can also be about uh, fighting and arguments as well. So coming up uh, next to what we are seeing in the third week, uh, as you're hitting Scorpio season, there's something of like, uh, what are we doing for the greater health of this person? Or what are the greater collective decisions we're making, maybe as a family or as a group of people? Um, may, perhaps in the um, difficult experience of another person. So as another person goes through a difficult experience, there might be a collective decision that's coming up and there could be like um, debate about this. And you're having to be maybe very strong or very transcendental within this debate. So not like succumbing to the uh, smaller arguments, not uh, getting too upset, but really rising above uh, those difficult feelings, rising above those um, uh, petty things is important for you. The strength card is about gracefully and in a dignified way, facing something that's not easy. So some of you have like more stoicism coming in here. I um, mean, Pisces is a very stoic sign. So uh, stoic philosophies could be good. Um, even like Taoist principles or philosophies could be good as you are having to maybe uh, complete your own cycles as another person completes theirs. Uh, so anyway, Pisces, let's talk more about that in your extended reading. Um, I will link that below and in the center of your screen. Uh, have a beautiful month. Bye.